Hi everybody, Christian Cantrell back again to introduce the next version of the Stable Diffusion Photoshop plugin. Version 0 0.3.0 .0 brings two major new features. Layer-based image to image, as opposed to just document-based, and in-painting with layer masks. You've always been able to generate new images, and version 0.2 brought image to image, which allowed you to generate new images based on the pixels currently visible in the document. But this version lets you select a specific layer and use just those pixels as image input. In this example, if I had generated variations based on the document, I'd have a bunch of text in the output, which would obviously be a huge mess. By choosing selected layer, I'm able to generate new images based just on the selected layer and to easily preview them in context. This is a huge time saver and a way to really take advantage of layers, one of Photoshop's core concepts. The next new feature is even cooler. You can now not only inpaint, but you can inpaint using layer masks. That means anything you can select, you can turn into a mask, and anything you can mask, you can replace. For example, you can use Photoshop's powerful neural selection capabilities like Select Sky. Invert the selection. Go into Mask mode to make a few adjustments. I find it works best with slightly smoothed and feathered edges. Output the selection to a layer mask and then just type in what you want to replace those pixels with. I love this feature because it's so well integrated with layer masks, another one of Photoshop's most powerful features. You may notice your layer panel flashing briefly when you click the Dream button. That's just the plugin translating a Photoshop mask into the type of mask that Stable Diffusion expects, so it's expected behavior. Now, I've had to change the ID of this version of the Stable Diffusion Photoshop plugin, so that means you will need to uninstall the old version manually, or you'll have two versions installed at the same time. It also means you'll have to re-enter your API key, and the history from the old version won't be available in the new version, so make sure you save any images you want to keep before uninstalling the old version. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but in exchange, you'll get a much better optimized experience. You might have noticed previously that the larger your history got, the more the plugin would slow down. That's no longer the case. You should now be able to save hundreds, if not thousands of images in your history with no impact on performance whatsoever. In fact, everything about the plugin should feel snappier. I've also made the plugin much more laptop friendly by vertically scrolling the entire Generate tab rather than just the gallery. For those of you working on laptops, sorry about that, but you should be good to go now. That's it for this version. I have several more versions planned and even partially implemented, so stay tuned, preferably on Twitter, for outpainting, availability through the Adobe Marketplace, and the most requested feature so far, local inference. Thanks for watching.